So welcome to the fourth Bootstrap 3 tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating this Jumbotron, which is this grey box which has large text which gives some large message. So in this case it's been used to promote a latest video, has a little bit of a description and has two buttons, watch now and tweet it. Uh, the watch now one is white so that's the default button and then the tweet it button is blue so that's the button dash info. So these are really simple to make. What we're going to do is head over into our code and between our navbar and our footer we're going to create a div with a class equal to container as it's going to be centered on the screen and it's not going to be going stretching all the way across. So slash div, close it off. And then in here what we're going to do is create a div with a class equal to jumbotron. That's what they call it. If you're coming from Bootstrap 2, uh, they used to call it a uh, hero unit, but now it's jumbotron. So just close it off, and then in here we can use basic HTML tags. We can use h1, and uh, we can say hello world. Save that, refresh, and you see what I've got our jumbotron which says hello world. So I'm actually going to change, I'm going to leave that like that actually, and then slash p, and then we're going to put a little paragraph on it. So what I generally do is I head to a site called Ellipsom, but I'm actually just going to copy something from a bootstrap site. Um, let's just copy some text here. Let's copy this. And I'll just paste it on there. And they had to put some code in there, didn't they? So save it. And if we refresh now, you see we've got our paragraph text here. So the next thing we want to do is the two buttons. And this is also really simple. We've got to do a class is equal to btn btn de dash default. And then inside these brackets, we're just going to put watch now. So if we save that, refresh, we've got our watch now button. And then I'm also going to put a tweet it button. Save that and refresh. We now have the tweet it button, and to make the button uh, blue, it's going to be btn dash info. Because, like in the previous tutorial, we're just looking here um, our buttons, all of our colors. So, if you want it green, you can do success. If you want it primary blue, uh, warning yellow, danger red. So, now if we get going and have a look at our site, you can see it's now blue for our tweet it button. So, you can either leave it aligning left. Or if you want it to center, a really easy fix to this is just put a center tag here and a center tag here. And now if we save that, refresh, you see it's now in the center. So that's our Jumbotron, it's all looking really good, just like this one except we've got different text. Uh, so yeah, so thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.